name is Paul Martindale, and I'm the owner of Martindale Pinnacle Construction. I just want to shoot a quick video today just going through the seven steps of the insurance claims process. Um, there's a lot to an insurance claim and uh, I've taken the time to break it down into seven key steps. Uh, step one is MPC personnel uh, conducting a free assessment to see if there are damages that are warranted in order to file an insurance claim. So a lot of times uh, your roofing system, siding system, um, is either newer or just a better product that actually is held up to the hail. Um, if there uh, isn't enough damage, which means you know significantly above and beyond the deductible that you have, then we are probably going to recommend not filing an insurance claim. A lot of times when we're working these significant storms, whether it's hail, wind, uh, derecho, tornado, whatever it is, uh, there is going to be significant damage, and especially if my personnel are in that area. It's safe to say um, a good percentage of the properties in that area are affected and a claim will be warranted. Step two in the insurance claims process is if there is enough damage to warrant filing a claim. Uh, that's what we recommend doing uh, while my rep is there. Uh, if there's anything that the uh, adjuster on the other line would like to ask him about the damages, we then can simply inform them right there on the spot. So once we get a claim filed, they're going to give you a claim number. Uh, the rep will then write that claim number down on our service agreement. The last thing then to do before the rep leaves is to simply sign the service agreement that we get signed with all of our customers, allowing MPC to discuss the claim with your carrier and then to provide any estimates, photos, or reports uh, for your claim. Step three of the insurance claims process is MPC personnel would meet with the assigned insurance adjuster on your claim. And the, and the reason behind that is we want to try and reach an agreement on scope of damage um, when he comes out the first time. Number four in the insurance claims process is to sign a build contract with MPC personnel and also for MPC personnel to secure that first ACV uh, check that has been um, mailed to you from your insurance carrier or direct deposited. That's a material deposit check and that is secured in order to write up any additional supplements, order materials, and schedule crews on your project. Number five of the insurance claims process is for MPC crews to come in and complete your project with an assigned MPC project manager. Number six of the insurance claims process is for a final invoice to be emailed to your insurance carrier and also to you by our office staff or by the assigned project manager in order for the final payment slash depreciation check to be released. Last and final step of the insurance claims process is for an MPC manager to set a time with you to come out and get a COC signed or, or certificate of completion and also to secure final payment. Your project is done and we're on to the next one. Thanks everyone.